I just want to start off with just covering your new jersey for this year, you know, Leviathan. Um, what's the experience like for you so far, you know, being with, with your new team uh, for 2024? Mm, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I want to see how the stage is going to perform on stage. So we're going to see this in 17 in our first match. And I want to see how everyone in the team is going to deal with the pressure that is going to be to be playing on stage. So I'm looking forward to it and I'm very excited to play my first match with the new team. Of course. And of course, you know, covering exactly how you came to be in Leviathan and taking that decision to go to Latin America from Brazil. I just want to cover exactly what made you want to, to go to Leviathan as your as your next team. Uh, it's something that I already said before. Uh, one of the main reasons that I chose Leviathan was the fact that I was looking for a team that could make me world champion again. So I basically wanted a team that could win. Uh, other thing that waited a lot was the fact that I wanted a team with a good environment. I wanted like a friendly environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and how has it been, you know, since the moment you joined in Leviathan, there was already plenty of hype and plenty of expectations for this team. But um, how did you, exp how, what were your expectations when it came to then you playing alongside um, um, King Mazzino and then Tex and now much more recently come and how has those expectations compared to, to, to the reality? Uh, I think the, it matched my expectations and I'm very happy with like how things are going, like the, the structure, the food. I'm very happy with all the things here in LA. So I'm very excited to play and I, I want to play soon. <laughs> Would you ever to, to, to move? Did you live in, in, in like in Argentina or, or during the off season uh, or did you just mostly live in, in Los Angeles? Uh, most of the time I was in Brazil. I spent like, I think, two weeks in Argentina that we were doing a boot camp. And then I spent some time in Brazil. And then I I went to Madrid for one month for a boot camp. And then I went back to Brazil. And then I came to Los Angeles. Interesting. You brought up your, your time in Madrid uh, for that boot camp. What was that, situ what was that experience like for you? Uh, it was really good. Uh, Every time that I did a boot camp in Europe, the, the pracs were really good because I, I like a lot the fact that Europe has a lot of good pracs. Like you have a lot of different things that you can practice, so you can try out new stuff. You can play against a lot of different play styles because you have people from every single like place there so there's a lot of play styles and that is very cool for you because you can get some new stuff and you can try some new stuff as well of course of course and now i i want to cover exactly how it was you know before you made this, this, this before you made the decision to go to to leviathan i want to know um exactly what went down with a lot of not everything of course but um you mentioned a little bit about how you encountered difficulties when it comes to to, to winning and, and and stuff like that. So what do you think what was like one of the, the, the biggest causes for the situation to play out as it did while in, in Loud? Mm, it was more because I, I wanted to like live a new journey in my life. I, I wanted to try something new, like speaking another language was something that I, I wanted a lot. So I was learning English already. And I wanted to like play uh, in a team speaking English. I wanted like having a new journey from my life, some new experience and uh, a new challenge for me as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with all that said about, you know, you fitting in with Leviathan, what do you feel is, is the biggest challenge that you've in encountered so far with your new team um, at the start of 2024? I think 
uh, it was the fact that uh, I have like four new teammates. So it's not the same thing that was before that my teammates already knew how I played, how was my play style, uh, how we should play together. So it's basically the new journey that I said. Uh, I need to, need to know how to play with them, my new teammates and they need to know how to play with me because we are dealing with new play styles. Each one of them has a different play style that my old teammates had. They don't know my play style. So now we are all knowing each other play style and like living together and knowing how to play together. I talked a little bit with um, Tex before, you know, talking to you, Aspas, and he mentioned about how the team is much more free, and basically everyone can can go can play up to their own to their own device, play by themselves uh, uh, when the situation arises. Um, when you're in a situation, when you're in a system like that, um, how has it been for them to support you? You know, given you you're, uh, you're the duelist and uh, and how does that compare with how it was in Loud? Mm, I, I think it was a little bit the same in Loud. Like, if you see, you have a key information that can win the round, you need to do it. You are seeing the thing. Uh, sometimes it's, you are seeing something that the IGL can see because you are in one side of the map and the IGL can be in the other one. So you need to have the power to make this decision. So you need to do it. So for me, it's still something like normal. Uh, I think it's good that everyone has like the power to make a decision in the game, not only the IGL. Um, this is something okay for me, and uh, I like it. It's something that I like a lot. What do you think about the IGLing of King? Because of course, you know when you go from from Sarak to then going to King, uh, it goes about that. There is plenty of 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 questions revolving how. You know, you would compare the two, but you know, of course, you know, we're at the start of the 2024 season and not we haven't played any any matches yet so far. But how would you compare the the IGLing between King, your current one, and also Sadak, your past one? Uh, it's going good. Uh, of course, the like the cows are different because they are different persons, so uh, those things are different. And uh, I think it's going good. So, like, uh, I'm very excited to play in stage. Uh, the thing that I want the most right now is to have the first game with the scene in the stage so I can know, like, how things will go. <laughs> yeah, and it's exactly that in which, you know, for the first match of the year for, for Libertas, it's going to be against 100 Thieves in the group stage of that kickoff event. And, you know, it's a group in which you're you're alongside the likes of Sentinels and Loud, you know, of course, you know, everybody knows the story between yourself and also um, Loud and also with Sentinels, but, um, you know, when you see um, all this anticipation building between, you know, your team and also your opponents for the group stage, um, does that kind of change or does that make you, does that give you more motivation to take them on when the time does come? Uh, sincerely, like the way I think is, is that I focus on the first thing that I have to do. So now I have a match against 100 thieves. So now all my focus are on 100 thieves. So I will prepare everything that I can, do my best against them. And I will do the same with the next thing that I have. So I don't create expectations like I'm going to win and I'm going to play another team the next day. Uh, no, because if I lose, it's going to be different and it's going to be like a something bad to create so high the expectations and don't meet them. So I just focus on the first step that now is playing 100 tips. So all my folks are on playing 100 tips. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And of course, uh, um, in addition to the expectations, you know, with your contribution to Leviathan and also the likes of, of, of Tex and Calm, um, as I said before, there's a lot of anticipation for this team to do well. Um, does that all, d d do you pay attention to to those kinds of anticipations as someone that has already reached the mountaintop and became a world champion? Do you pay attention to, to those kinds of um, expectations, anticipations? You know what people think about 
how this team will perform in the future? I don't pay much attention to these things. Like I, I like to focus more on the inside of my team and to focus more on the, my teammates than focus on what people outside of the team is talking. Because the important thing for me is how my team is doing and not what the other people that is not from the team is saying that is happening. Yeah, and I want to take a different direction a little bit from, from that and just focusing on the off-season changes to, to the game and also um, uh, on the tournament format, but first covering the game specifically. There's been plenty of new additions, new changes to the game. Of course, you know, the introduction or the return of Icebox into the map pool and then also, you know, other changes here and there within agents. I think the, the most telling one with Sky and stuff like that. Um, what's your opinion on the, 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 the changes to the game during the off season, do you like it? Do you hate it? Or, or are you kind of in between? Uh, I, I love it because they bring Icebox back and they bring Breeze back to the map pool as well. And they bring House back, Breeze House. And like House was a place that I always played and I, I, I love playing there. So Breeze was my favorite map, but they changed it. So it wasn't anymore. And now with house back is my favorite map again. So I'm very happy with, with those things. Um, I like the Sky change because I'm a duelist and Sky was an agent that like will make my life harder. So like, I'm very happy with the changes. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Well, what's the one thing you, you what's the one thing you like the most from the change? Like if there's number one, if there's one thing that is on top of every everything else. The fact that they put Bree's house back. I love Bree's house. <laughs> All right, right. Um, I, I, I want to also then get your opinion on the tournament format, as in the calendar for all of the teams in the BCT um, this year. Of course, there's been plenty of conversation about whether that's a good or bad thing. With all of the teams playing each other once throughout the space of around six or so months, in the regular season across multiple splits, including um, this kickoff event. Um, when, when you look at the, those kinds of co arguments and conversations going on around the calendar year, what's your what's your opinion of, of it? Do you feel it's um, good or bad that, you know, teams are not playing as, as, as often that as people would like? I like the fact that difference from last year that was only two internationals. Now we have three. Like in twenty two, we had three internationals as well. Now we have again. Uh, so this was one fact that I like it because, like, when you go to international, you are playing not in your home. You are playing in other country, and you are having a new experience. You are like playing a new country. So I like the fact that they added like one more international again. Uh, now we have more matches than last year as well, so I, I like it, the changes compared to last year. There's also concerns about people getting burned out, players getting burned out. What with the schedule so close together, you know, you play kickoff and then you go to the split, and then for the good teams that do that do do well, um, they then go to playoffs, they qualify for Masters, and then go into Masters, and then so on and so forth. Um, do you feel that 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 kind of schedule for you know those good teams? Uh, um, do you feel that kind of overwhelms you guys, or, or overwhelm the players, including yourself? Given that you you also went through that kind of similar to situation last season with Loud. Um, I think that the fact that the all the tournaments are so close now this year. Um, almost like last year, but now you have more tournaments and all of them are close. Uh, you need to have a good environment with your teammates because you're going to spend a lot of your time together. You're probably spending more time with them than with your family. So you need to have a good environment with them so you don't get burned out because the tournaments are so close. If they were more spread out, it would be like easier for the players, but since it's like that, you need to have a good environment with your team because you're going to spend a lot of time with them. Right, of course, of course. And one more question before before I wrap it up. Um, 
it's more so your thoughts on as to the year ahead um you know from this moment on up until the to the to the future um what are your expectations for Leviathan uh for this year and also um which team do you feel most wanting to face uh, um at this moment in time and in in the future mm. For now, uh, I think we're gonna need to keep like practicing to do our best. Uh, for me, individually, saying I want to be better than I was last year, on the last two years, because one thing that I keep practicing always is for me to be better than I was before. So I wanna keep always be improving and try to be better than I was. So for this year, for me, I'm gonna try to be better than. I was. Uh, I hope our team can do great as well. And I, I think that I want to face. I, I don't have one in mind uh, because, like, right now, all, all my focus are on hundred teams. <laughs>